Now, scientists think fossils recovered from two caves in southwest China might belong to a new species of prehistoric people. Bones from the so-called Red Deer Cave People have an unusual mix of primitive and modern anatomical features. Professor Darren Kernow from the University of New South Wales co-led the team of researchers and he joins us now from Sydney. Darren Kernow, good morning to you. How old are these bones? Good morning. Um, well, the fossils, uh, as you said, come from two different sites. So one of the sites, uh, Maludong or Red Deer Cave, the fossils are about 14,500 years old. And from the other site, Long Lin Cave, they're about 11,500 years old. And how different are they to uh, other fossils and bones that uh, have been discovered in the past? Well, they're really a unique population in many ways. They, as you've said, they really have a, an unusual mixture of features, uh, what we might call primitive features, or features that we see in our ancestors of several hundred thousand years ago. Some features that we see in our own population, modern humans, and actually some unusual features as well. So they're actually a unique, if you like, anatomically unique population in the human evolutionary tree. So uh, potentially looking, we're seeing some of the pictures now of, um, yep. of, of graphics of, of how these people may have looked like, a new yep. evolutionary line really. Well, it's quite possible. We've actually been quite careful at this stage. We haven't actually formally classified them, if you like, or given them a scientific name. Um, we, we've concluded in the paper um, that they either could be a new evolutionary line or they could actually even be a very early population of our own species, Homo sapiens, one that got out of Africa very early, mm -hmm. um, perhaps uh, before any other modern human populations, and maybe one that didn't even give rise to or contribute genetically to living, living East Asians. What do we know about how the Red Deer Cave people uh, lived their lives, what they ate, what they hunted, for instance? Yeah, well, um, the, the Maludong, um, or Red Deer Cave, is a site that, um, beside the human bones, uh, a lot of um, other mammals were found. And most of those mammal bones and teeth are, in fact, from deer species. Um, most of those species are still alive today in the area. But there's one particular species, a giant deer, um, that went extinct during the Ice Age, at the end of the Ice Age. And in fact, uh, Maludong is one of the very last sites in China that we find the remains of this deer. And, and it's quite clear that the Red Deer Cave people were, were cooking uh, the bones of, of the, the deer and, and consuming them in the cave. Well, Darren Kerner, what's the next step here? One, one of the big challenges for us is to really uh, try and test the ideas that we've developed. So, so we want to know whether the Red Deer Cave people are a new species or whether they belong in Homo sapiens. And one of the big things we're doing is actually trying to get DNA from the fossils. We've actually had one attempt so far. We're working with a, a group of Chinese geneticists. We were unsuccessful in getting DNA, but we've actually broadened that effort out now. And we've included two major, two major uh, laboratories that specialise in the recovery of ancient DNA, one from Copenhagen and one from Brisbane. So over the next 12 months, there's really going to be a very concerted effort to try and extract DNA from, from the fossils from both of these sites. Fascinating stuff. Darren Kerner, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you very much.